In today's tutorial, we're going to look at a few techniques involved in creating this animation. So let's go ahead and drag our Fusion Composition clip to the Fusion page and bring a text node. What we're going to do is to write our text first, and then we're going to also adjust the size of the text. Now let's copy and paste this text node, and then let's go back to the background text node here, and then go to Shading, then let's switch to Text Outline under Appearance. For some font, you may not need to do this, but in this example, let's go ahead and bring down the thickness a little bit so that it's going to look a little better. All right, and now let's come to the foreground text node, and we're going to primarily focus on the write-on setting here. As you can see, by just adjusting the write-on slider, uh, this can create a pretty interesting effect. So uh, what we're going to do is to basically leave it uh, like this uh, right now, and then let's uh, uh, keyframe it, and then let's move the playhead to the 24th frame, which is about one second later. Now let's drag this slider all the way to the end. And now, as you can see, by just doing this, we have a pretty interesting effect uh, created where each letter is filled individually uh, from left to right. Now let's go ahead and reset all the parameters, but we're still going to stick with this workflow. Instead, what we're going to do is to come to the text box and then right click and then in the menu, let's go ahead and select follower. Then let's go to the modifiers uh, tab up top. Now let's change delay to six frames for now. Now let's go to shading tab. Then let's go to opacity, a uh, keyframe. Now let's bring it all the way down to zero. And we're going to move over by just one frame and bring this back up to one. So now if we were to play this back, you guys can see that uh, each letter is going to be filled from left to right, but with a six frame delay instead. Now, another thing we can do is to come to timing and change the delay to 15 frames. So now you're going to see the same effect, but with a much longer delay. We can also change the water as well. So let's go to, let's say random, but one on one. So now as you can see, each letter is going to be filled with the delay and also in a random water. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, look at how to bring movement into this type of effect. So what we have here is a text node with the text written in the text box, and this is all we need to get started on this effect. So let's go to the shading tab. Let's uh, change the text appearance to text outline. Now let's bring down the thickness a little bit there. And now let's go back to the text box, right click, and then go to follower in the menu. And then we're gonna go to the modifiers tab, change delay to two frames, and then let's go to shading and let's go to position offset keyframe and then let's go to the 24th frame and then let's uh, keyframe uh, the uh, position offset uh, parameter again now let's go back to the previous keyframe we're going to just bring this text a little bit over move it a little bit over to the left so now as you guys can see each uh, character is moving over to the right but with a little delay in between now let's uh, bring up spline editor, change the easing as well as ease out. And this, as you can see, is going to put a magic touch on this animation. Now we're gonna go back to tools and focus on the write on feature. So let's keyframe and we're going to bring end all the way back down. And let's go to the 24th frame, bring end all the way back up. So now, as you can see, each letter is going to show up one after another and it's looking pretty cool. But one thing though you're gonna see that is that in between these two uh, keyframes, uh, it also automatically added uh, two new keyframes uh, for no reason. And sometimes it's just a matter of uh, you know purging the cache. So once, as you can see, we got rid of those two uh, frames, the effect itself is still intact. Uh, it still looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's go to the modifiers tab and we're going to keyframe the appearance setting. And we're going to change it to text outline. Now let's go to 24th uh, frame and we're going to switch appearance to the full letter. So now, as you can see, we have now achieved that same effect we had before where the individual letter is going to be filled one after another. And one thing you're going to see that is the switch over is not happening until really the midpoint in between uh, the two frames. So that is one thing uh, to keep in mind when we're using this approach, uh, this shortcut, if you will, to achieve uh, that same look. So now uh, this is uh, looking pretty good. We have achieved what we 
we have achieved the look that we had before, uh, but with more movement uh, embedded in the effect. Lastly, we're going to use a very similar technique, but approach it uh, slightly differently. So let's go to the shading tab. Uh, once again, we're going to change the text appearance to text outline. I'll bring down the thickness a little bit there. And now let's go back to the text box, right click, select follower in the menu, pop over to the modifiers tab. We're gonna go to delay, change it to two frames for now, that under shading, precision offset. We're going to keyframe, now let's go to the 24th frame. Let's go back to follower, keyframe again, and we're gonna go back to the first uh, keyframe and then bring this text uh, pretty much towards the bottom. So now as you can see, each uh, letter is going to come up uh, one after another. Let's go back to delay, change it to now three frames, and then pop open the spline editor, change the easing and ease out. And uh, now as you can see, this effect is looking uh, way much better. One last thing we can do here is to bring a rectangle masking node connected to uh, the text uh, node. And we're going to bring this a little bit closer towards the bottom of the text. And now as you can see, we have a, a nice little text appearance effect going on. Now to wrap this up, let's go to modifiers tab and then uh, under uh, shading appearance, we're going to once again keyframe and switch it over to text outline. Then over at the 24th frame, let's keyframe appearance once again, but by switching it over to the full text. So now as you can see, we have now that same effect, but with a different type of animation. One other thing we can do here is to go to the 34th frame instead of the third, uh, instead of the 24th, and then keyframe appearance. Uh, now let's go back to the previous one, get rid of it. And now, as you can see, uh, this uh, switch over is going to happen a little bit later uh, during this animation. Uh, so yeah, I hope uh, guys, this tutorial uh, gives you a good idea on some of the key techniques involved in creating that title sequence in the intro. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you next time.